Good morning. As I see all those bright and shiny faces, it makes me feel so warm and loved. How about showing some of that warm and love to the people around you? So introduce yourselves. Say hello. Good morning. God be with you. quite a special morning this morning, quite a few things going on around the church. I'll bet I gave you my coffee with the stuff in it too. Oh, see how I do that things? Hold on. There we go. A couple of quick announcements for this morning. Um, as we look around the church, there's several different pieces that are going on. This morning is World Communion Sunday. Now, oh, before I do that, wait a second. Were there any new people that showed up in church that you introduced yourself to? Raise your hand if you introduced yourself to somebody new. You guys introduced yourself to somebody new this morning? That's exciting. That's, that's awesome. Where else do we have? Okay, for those of you that are new, I'm bringing down a coffee mug for you guys, okay? Lots of good information in here. Would you pass this across behind you so that they can identify? Thank you. Lots of good information in there. Today is World Communion Sunday. Communion is a pretty awesome part of what we do as a church. So we'll be talking about communion today, and that'll be a major part of what goes on here. Also, we are starting our new Bible 101 classes on the other side of the hall over here, over in the parlor area. If you guys are interested at all in finding out new stuff about the Bible, or if you've never had a Bible before, or if you just want a refresher, it's a, just a great time and a fun place to be, and uh, we'll be starting our series, and Gene's actually over there this morning starting the series, so Reverend Gene's over there. Remember, we've got our little Cottonwood Canyon fall cleanup coming up, and you guys can all get together October 13th at 9 a.m. When I say you guys, I'll probably be there as well. Make sure you wear your grubby duds and a pair of gloves, and it's probably going to be a little coolish up there, so you might want to throw on a jacket. We'll be up there cleaning up uh, starting at 9 o'clock in the morning. If you've got any uh, questions, you can give Jim's, Jim Elmsley a call. His number is in the, uh, is in the bulletin, so is Bob Pierce's, and they'll be answer, able to answer your questions. We're also asking for help for the Homeless Youth Resource and Outreach Center this week, uh, purchasing of items primarily focused on back-to-school donations, uh, clothing, et cetera, that they need. Check out the uh, bulletin for more information on that. Lots of stuff going on this week. You can find that on the back of your bulletin information, as you guys well know. And uh, the adult family ministries are beginning with the Bible 101 today. But also the other thing to keep in mind is we've got our health fair coming up October 14th at 830 to 1230. So that's a great time for you to get ready for the fall by getting in here and getting yourselves good and healthy. Do we have any concerns or prayers that need to be lifted up this morning that we want to keep in consideration? Awesome. Well, then I'll call for our lay reader to bring us to worship. Good morning. Please rise if you are able. Come all, the table is served. Come all, the table is served. O oh, Heavenly Creator, we have been told that we are unworthy, but those who surround us and love you, we are afraid. Come all, the table is served. May we still eat. Come all. We gladly come before you, O oh God. We know you see us as the perfect in your sight, and we sing your grace and everlasting love. 
The table is served. Come. Please remain standing and join me in the unison prayer. Creator of all, your creation gathers today to rejoice in your love. Together we reach out to those near and far and join in celebrating your supper. Today we share in the remembrance of your Son and our Savior and lift in prayer those who are persecuted and forbidden from sharing with us. We too lift those who are starving, as there is enough food to feed but for the world's great greed. This is a celebration that we enjoy, and today we remember your son and those who have been punished by governments and tyranny. We ask that you guide us to be instruments of your healing for this planet. In your holy name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. All kids, come on. Come on. You guys sit up here. Mm, this is where children belong. Good morning. Look at all these beautiful faces. So this morning... We are talking about...
about communion. How many of you have ever taken communion? Do you know what communion is? Do you guys? Okay, so communion is a special meal. Now, we celebrate it because Jesus had communion on the very last day with his friends, and he sat down with them, and they celebrated, and they said lots of prayers, and when he was all through the whole thing, he told them to remember him, okay? What kind of things can you guys do to remember Jesus in your life? What, Isaiah? You can think about your birthday. That's a good way to start. Absolutely. What else? You could read the Bible. That's wonderful. What else? Presence. Presence is always a good idea. I think we could do that every day. You go home and tell your mom I said that, okay? Okay, good. I know she'll be happy to hear that. The other way we can do it is just to say simple prayers, right? Do you guys say grace before your meals at dinner? Some of us do, huh? See, that's an easy way. Yes, we do. That's an easy way to remember Christ in our lives, right? And we usually say something simple. Thank you for the bread. Thank you for our friends. Thank you for the simple things in life, right? Today, I want you to go out, and when you have your next meal, I want you to sit and think for just a moment. What are you most thankful for? Can you guys do that for me today? Great. That would be a good start. And then we can remember Jesus as he wanted us to remember him, okay? Awesome. So let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> for these beautiful children. And the lives that are surrounding us. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you give us and all the memories that you share with us on a daily basis. That was good. Thank you, Lord, for all these blessings. In your name we pray. Amen. That was awesome. All right, guys, head on down. This morning as we come together, we have so many blessings that we lift up. I want you to think about those kids as they go forward and join me in song uh, 483. We'll repeat it one time. Heavenly Father, we come before you in this moment of prayer. We are aware of the weight of the world. Each of us in our own lives carries forth so many worries and concerns. Today we put our own concerns aside for a moment. And we lift up those who are weak and weary those who are troubled and ill we especially lift up those in our community that we know are, are dealing with sickness treatments for cancer with ongoing health problems those who have recently been through the hospital and those that are facing days there. We too lift up those who have experienced loss. 
who are more. And we also look at those who today are feeling alone. And Lord, we ask you to place your hand upon all of us, holding us gently in your palm and carrying us through the week, giving us the strength to deal with and move with all obstacles in our way. These things we pray to you, O Lord, just as your Son, Jesus Christ, taught us to pray, as we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power.
chapter 26, verses 26 through 28. Y mientras comían, tomó Jesús el pan, y bendijo, y lo partió, y dio a sus discípulos, y dio. Tomad, comed, esto es mi cuerpo, y tomad a la copa, y habiendo dado gracias, les dio diciendo, Bebed de ella todos, porque esto es, su, es mi sangre de nuevo pacto, que por muchos es dermada para remisión de los pescados. So, uh, you never know what you're going to get. Some days the batteries hold up, some days they don't. Is that on now? All right, we'll work with it. I can always holler if I have to. Chuck, you got this one yet? All right. <laughs> Be good. All right. So. Kind of an odd service. I mean, we've got, uh, we're singing about colors, all different kinds of colors. We've got, uh, we've got Faith on Fire coming up in a minute. They're going to, they're going to sing during our, during our communion. We're talking about communion and we're singing songs about Moses coming out of Egypt land. See, it may be diverse, but it really is all the same thing. When I started thinking about what we were talking about for this week's sermon. It all boiled down to one simple thing. And yet it's so complicated. It's bread. This week, as we receive bread, we'll be receiving different types of bread. 
We have rice cakes from the east, tortillas from the south, flatbreads from Africa and from, uh, from the east regions of India and such, rye breads from over in, uh, over in primarily Europe and Eastern Europe. We've got all kinds of stuff here. Plain bread from here at home. Bread. And juice. See, Jesus got together with his disciples, his buddies, his best friends in the whole wide world and said, let's go have one more dinner. Now, they didn't know what he meant by one more, so that's a story that we read into it from this side. So they ran into town and they got a room. And the room that they got is probably about as big as the space around the altar up here. Not very big. And they laid down on the floor and they held a traditional Seder, a Passover feast. A feast that would have been prepared the day prior so that no one would have to work. Everybody could just enjoy this meal and remember. And remember. And still today, in the Hebrew religions and in the Jewish religion, they remember those that went before them. Go down, Moses, tell old Pharaoh, let my people go. See, it's a song about Moses and freeing the people from Egypt and bringing them to the promised land. And the bread symbolizes manna. And the fruits represent waters and fruits of the lands that they came to and all the good things that they were coming to. But Jesus, Jesus changed that. One simple little change to one simple little prayer and it changed the way the world looks. Jesus stopped. And when he came to the part that says, remember those that have been martyred. Remember those that have gone before us that have been thrown down in front of the Romans. Remember those. When he gets to that prayer, Jesus says, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Now, frankly, I don't care if we hear it in Spanish, which we did today, in case you didn't know, or if it's in Chinese, Taiwanese, Indian, African, or English. It's the same message all around the world, the same message over and over and over again. And today we celebrate that diversity. Today we celebrate the gift, the gift that Christ gave us when he said these words. And he lifted this bread and he shared it. But this gift isn't free for all. Oh, don't get me wrong. We are in a Methodist church, a Methodist church that says that we are an open table that everyone here may come forward and partake of communion. But in the rest of the world, nearly 25% of the people are hungry. They'll not have bread on their table today. See, I read an interesting statistic while I was researching all of this and putting it together. In the US, 16% of all people are starving. Not hungry, starving. They don't have enough food. In the world, it's 17% that are starving. But the interesting thing is the World Health Organizations have changed their numbers within the last year to reflect something even greater than that. The 25% of the world's population is hungry, malnourished, unable to get Daily sustenance, just enough vitamins, minerals, and food to get them through week by week by week. Millions of children are dying every day because they're not getting enough food to eat. And the majority of the people in the world that are hungry are women and children. They'll not have bread to 
celebrate the Lord's Supper. And they're hungry in other ways. We haven't reached out to them to reach forward and tell them of the good news of Jesus Christ, but what good news is there if they don't have anything to eat? See, when Christ shared the bread, he said something that was phenomenal, that we don't really relate to anything else, but later on we hear the church is the body of Christ. Now, I don't care what church you go to. Some churches command that Jesus enters into the bread and it transforms and becomes the actual flesh of our Lord. Other churches use it as a representation. Here, it's a reminder. A reminder of the gift that we've been given. A gift that we share as a church. We share the gift of the body of Christ. We are the body. But we are not just the people that are here. This is a worldwide church. This is a global existence. Something that spreads far beyond the walls of this small sanctuary. See, today, while we're celebrating communion, around the world, people are celebrating communion as well. They're sharing the same story. They're telling the same information. They're talking about the same things. And they all represent the body of Christ. Now for those that are starving, those people that are in the world that are not able to have this sustenance, Today, let them serve as a reminder to us that we have more work to do. Today, let them serve as a reminder of the gift, the gift that we share. And today, as a reminder, let them remind us that it doesn't matter who they are. People of all color, all shapes and sizes, all genders and sexual identities, all people deserve the basics, the food that we eat. And all, this, all people deserve to hear the word of Christ. And all people are welcome at this table. So though the words may sound a little foreign, No matter how we say them, they all say the same thing. This is my body. You are the body. We are the body. As we go forth today, share in our mission, share in our charge, share in our gifts. And remember that this gift is given for you. Amen.
May the rose road rise to greet you. May the wind blow gently at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face. And until we meet again, may God hold you gently in the palm of his hand. Amen. Thank you.